Remember, democracy dies in darkness. Trump, the most transparent pro, pro-press president in history, probably. He would talk at length for hours to reporters. He'd make fun of them, but he would talk. He was open to them. Joe Biden doesn't do that sort of thing. And Lori Lightfoot now in Chicago, mayor of Chicago, is saying she's only going to grant one-on-one interviews to black and brown journalists. <laughs> she is. This is according to a spokesman uh, who says that now she's in her two-year midway point as mayor, and she's only going to give one-on-one interviews to black or brown journalists. It is tired and cliche and pointless to, to observe that if the situation were reversed, of course, this would be an international incident and there would be a huge outcry. But I, I, I don't even want to focus on that point because it just doesn't matter. There's just different sets of standards, right? There's one set of standards for the Black Lives Matter terrorists who burn the country to the ground. And there's one set of standards for the horn guy and the guy who took Pelosi's podium. And the standards for the horn guy are much, much harsher than for the BLM terrorists. And that's just the way it is. And so Lori Lightfoot, a black mayor, can come out and say, I'm only going to give interviews to black and brown journalists. And the reason here, of course, is is statistically she's looking and saying black people vote Democrat much more so than white people do. So that's going to give me a political advantage. But also, if you're already saying I'm going to discriminate on the journalists I talk to, then they can get much more specific. Far beyond just the skin color, they can say, okay, there's a leftist journalist, there's another leftist. And there, there are plenty of black people who are conservative. I don't think she'd give an interview to Candace Owens, for instance, but, or, or Larry Elder or somebody. But she, this is just a, an excuse to discriminate. And she's going to get away with that because the sense of reality that we have is contrary to reality itself. The ideology being pushed on us is that this country is in a white supremacist, patriarchal, Christian theocracy. And of course, it's totally the opposite of that. It's totally the, the only racial discrimination, the only racism that's permitted and actually promoted by society is against white people and to a lesser degree against Asian people, but also against Asian people, especially in university admissions and things like that. The only religion that it's perfectly fine to castigate and mock is Christianity. That our perception of things is very different from reality. And if we, uh, Tim Ryan is very barely, but makes a good point. If we are going to have a country, we need to be living in reality. And that means conservatives need to get a little bit tougher about articulating and enforcing that reality. A point I make at great length in my upcoming book, Speechless, Controlling Words, Controlling Minds, available now for pre-order. I'm Michael Knowles. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey there. Are you living in the Demi Lovato fantasy land? You probably are if you have not rung that bell, if you have not subscribed, because you, you, all you're doing is swimming in this morass of delusion and fantasy. But what you got to do is live in this reality-based community. Okay, ring that bell, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.